Wow, you're finally back! And just in time for the Express's grand spring cleaning! Have you ever heard of a Washtopia? It's a place where space vehicles can stop to rest. There are plenty of them throughout the universe. They're close enough together that you can travel between them without even activating a warp device. Washtopias only clean the exterior of the train, and they do a great job, too. However, the seats, rooms, windows, all the nooks and crannies inside the Express, we have to do those ourselves. Uh, since you only just got back, why not take a little rest and chat with the crew? Once you're ready, come find Pom Pom and we'll prepare to depart. Hmm. Something seems off. Pom Pom already selected a route. We've seemingly gone off course. Strange. Pom Pom's navigation is always precise. Stay vigilant. There might be a magnetic field nearby interfering with the Express's navigation system. Let's take a look in the control room. So. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that huge shadow? Everything outside is... red. What's going on? Uh, you really expect me to know the answer to that? Uh, even Mr. Yang looks surprised. That's not something you see every day. March. The Express encountered an obstruction. The disturbance triggered a chain reaction. Uh, the Express was struck from behind by another vessel. Uh, how do you crash into someone in space? Another vessel in our vicinity encountered the same obstruction and was unable to control its velocity. After the collision, two individuals found their way onto the Express. It doesn't seem like it. Ugh, compensation? They hit us! Well, if they're here to stir up trouble, I'll teach them a lesson. Let's go check it out. Another anomaly in this shining universe. A blooming splash of colors. You are truly beautiful. Uh, hmm? uh, uh, uh. A lady? Uh, <laughs> I offer a sincere compliment. You're akin to a flower in winter. Oh? Uh, Another beautiful uh, soul. Uh, <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I am Argenti. I belong to the Knights of Beauty. May I know your names? Please don't do this. He seems like a good guy. Hi, Argenti. I'm March 7th. An honor. I was just explaining the significance of beauty to this foliage. Uh, pardon my abruptness, but I have a habit of asking questions. As fellow beings of this universe, are you acquainted with Idrilla the Beauty? The Knights of Beauty travel from planet to planet, spreading the beauty's glorious reputation across the universe, so that every being may know of their existence. We strictly adhere to the commandments of our faith, tempering our physical forms and upholding our honor. Yes, though not exclusively. Just as I extol the beauty in this foliage, what I anticipate is an encounter, a collision, an exchange of minds and philosophies. Do you doubt such an assertion? You need not, young lady. Both my words and actions come from the bottom of my heart. You are indeed beautiful, like flowers 
blooming in the morning sun. Young lady, now that you know something of the beauty, I wonder, can you resonate with this philosophy and place your trust in Idrilla? I understand. Young lady, with all due respect, I believe you refuse to acknowledge the beauty simply because you lack knowledge on the subject. I cherish different ideas, but judging from this situation, since you do not understand the beauty, I will have to show you in a way that only a knight can. I earnestly request a chivalrous contest with you. Should I be fortunate enough to triumph, I ask you to acknowledge Idrilla the beauty as the most peerless beauty of all. To my lasting sadness, no. It is an unspoken rule of the Knights of Beauty that the commandment is uttered before a battle between knights. I apologize. Forgive me for my lack of eloquence. Why are you fighting? Communicating with others can be a most difficult endeavor. It is through action alone that we can convey our intent faithfully. May you understand the beauty. Kill <laughs> force! Sent a storm. Let me cut judge. your wounds. Right. Full. From the blue! Time wasted your prescription! Thank you, comrade. Never dies. Kill for Bear witness. To Heaven search. Rise. Put forth all your might. You pay for that. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Whatever's happening here. Forgive the interruption, but I just spoke with Himako. The situation is more urgent than we imagined. Take it easy. There'll be plenty of time to fight later. My deepest apologies, Mr. Yang. My concentration has been solely centered on my conversation with her. Now, it is only fitting to disclose the main reason for my presence here to work jointly in resolving the crisis before us. I was piloting the one and only through the galaxy when I discovered Velite, an IPC worker who accidentally fell into a huge cave from which I saved him. Upon saving Velite, I altered my flight course to accompany him to his original location. Consequently, I inadvertently ended up on the Express's navigational trajectory. According to him, he is an IPC worker. I believe he's currently resting in the carriage. He is still in a state of shock. He swore to follow Adrilla the goddess after being impressed by what he saw during our adventure. Thank you for coming. It'll be a first for the Express to work alongside the Knights of Beauty. Enjoy the present moment. Continue to enjoy the present moment. 
You misunderstand. I must first wholeheartedly enjoy the Red Knight of the Universe before I can discover an inharmonious pitch. These two things are correlated. Once I discover the cause, I shall destroy it. Well, try not to take too long. Things could deteriorate at any moment. Uh, could you please go check on Velite? He looks uneasy. He's a guest of ours, after all. Uh, what is it? Here to cheer me up? Save your breath. Your intentions might as well be written on your forehead. I'm just a small-time IPC worker. That Argenti rescued me. I don't know anything, and I can't help you guys. <sighs> I want to go home and have dinner. Once we're out of this jam... <laughs> Did Argenti tell you that? Oh, that guy is unbelievable. Before he rescued me, he said something like, You must pledge to acknowledge Adrilla, the beauty, as the most peerless beauty of all. I told him I'd marry her if he'd liked, as long as he got me out of that stinking cave first. <laughs> and he refused. I couldn't believe it. My life was on the line, so I just repeated after him. Adrilla, the beauty, etc. You, you get the picture. Then he corrected me. It's Adrilla, not Adrilla. Who came up with such an awkward sounding name? I'm a pencil pusher. What the heck do I know about the eon of beauty? But of course, I repeated it again in order to survive. Adrilla, the beauty, the most peerless beauty of them all. Just like that. <laughs> do you think I like being negative? <laughs> My friend, this is what's known as falling prey to the grim reality of life. Understand? When I was young, I assumed my life would be like a novel. I wanted to be a pilot, flying through outer space, exploring the universe in a grand spaceship. <laughs> but then my parents told me I'd have to work for the IPC and make a bunch of money to fulfill my dreams. What do you think? Do rich people make forced vows in caves? I gave up my unrealistic dream of becoming a pilot and worked for the IPC instead. I guess I'm living the life of a supporting character now. But after running into Argenti, I had an idea. Perhaps I could make some money with him and turn my life around. He's tall, handsome, and a knight. Packaged and marketed the right way, I'm sure he'll pique a lot of interest. I told him about my idea, that he could advocate for the beauty while also incorporating currency as a notion of beauty. That would allow him to preach more efficiently. He was very impressed. I'm planning to contact the marketing development department as soon as I'm off the express. He'll make a great IPC product spokesperson, and I can be his agent. Now, the question remains, will this guy shine brighter as an image-focused idol or should we showcase his formidable talents and mold him into a powerful star? You're right. It'd be a shame to waste such a handsome face. He just screams idle. So when can I get off the express? I need you guys to solve this traffic jam problem ASAP. Were you even listening to me? Ugh. All right, I have nowhere else to be. Let's go. Ah! Huh? What was that sound? Did someone scream? Uh, there, there was a strange sound. It was terrifying. Did you hear it? Bob Bob knows the express inside and out. It definitely wasn't the train. Is it possible that the jolt just now damaged the express? Did something manage to sneak in? Do we know where the sound came from? It sounded like it came from the passenger cabins. Or the conductor's cabin. But those are in opposite directions. How about we go check our own rooms? Hey, don't scare me. I'm sure there's a scientific explanation for this, right? 
Now's the time for action. I'm gonna go check my room. If there's a problem, I'll let you know. March has a point. Pom Pom will go check the conductor's cabin. Is... Is that me? What's she saying? I know your past. The things you want to see, to touch, to know. Your home, family, friends, emotions, what you love and what you despise. Ah! I'm the complete March 7th, with all of your forgotten memories. Uh, who are you? Why do you look exactly like me? <sighs> Why did you stop talking? Oh, what kind of creepy... March, March, can you hear me? Huh? Oh, uh, uh, my phone. Himeko, there's something really weird happening. I know, March. Get out of there right now. But... March. March! Please reply. Have you left the room? Did something happen to March? Not good. I need you and Don Hung to check on March. I'll accompany you. Velite, you too. What? All right, if things get dangerous, I'll hide behind you. <sighs> it's an insect? Ugly. The inharmonious pitch has surfaced. Honor compels us to vanquish this dissonance. I did not envision seeing true stings again. Huh? Yeah. There was a whole bunch of those bugs chasing me when Argenti found me in the cave. I was under the impression that I had successfully routed all of them. However, it appears that the stings continue to pursue us. Could it be? Velite, perhaps you still bear sting pheromones on your body. What is that? Is that bad? Yes, I I've read about true stings in the databank. They emit fibrous particles from their wings during flight, the inhalation of which can induce perceptual distortions and hallucinations. I I'm afraid March may have inhaled some of these particles. And that's why she saw another version of herself in the room. So that was just a hallucination? Huh. Why do I feel kind of disappointed? Wait, I thought hallucinations were supposed to be completely random. Why did I see an identical me? Did it do anything strange? It said it knew about my past. And then it stopped talking. I'm afraid that's not enough information for us to draw a conclusion. My concern is that numerous stings may have already infested the Express. Their elusive nature helps them stay in the shadows, but they may also be roaming freely. We have to prevent them from propagating. If not... Oh, I don't want to see a bunch of marches roaming around the Express. One of me is enough. <sighs> We're on the same page.
This isn't good. Evidence of a swarm is apparent, and it looks like several eggs are on the verge of hatching. They're embryos for now, but their transformation into larvae could be imminent, and their growth may exceed our initial estimates. And this is a race against the clock. Check around the express. What are you up to? Ah, more eggs! The stings propagated on the express! Are there eggs in my shoes? Ah, the clock is ticking! We need to find a more efficient method and quickly! Uh, let Pom Pom think. Uh... doing use your brain and think of something uh, well uh, as, as a conductor don't you have any emergency procedures in place oh uh, now that you mention it pom pom does have a backup measure we'll need hmm this mobile express cleaner should come in handy I was planning to use it to sweep the express's ceiling during spring cleaning it's got a nifty wide-angle lens on it. Once we zip it up into the air, we'll have eyes on the whole scene. Not a single nook or cranny will be able to hide from us. I mean, I know this isn't what it's meant for, but we have no other choice. If you think you can do this, I'll start piloting. Watch carefully. I'll be cleaning out the nooks and crannies as we go. <sighs> All right. Let's do this! Where do you want to check first? Stay alert! Now's not the time for relaxing! Let's... Hmm... Nothing out of place here. cars. What do you think? Stay focused. You need to check every corner. Mind if I take it for a spin? This little gadget could be the next big thing in spaceship cleanliness. Even Argenti could put his name to it. I'll jot that down. Uh, let's carry on. You still awake? You must be the creature that she mentioned. Does it bother you that people deem you cute? Believe me when I say that you are more than cute, my friend. You are a delightful ball of pure charm. Needless to say, it is an honor to encounter beings such as yourself. 
But I shall never give up my spiritual training. If this crisis cannot be averted, I shall die for the glory of the knights! What's going on? Why is he chatting with these bugs? Uh, I think he's also fallen into a hallucination. Is he seeing another him? I don't think so. I think he may be perceiving an unfamiliar presence. Well, let's go save him! Beautiful beings! Are you disciples? Uh, he looks beyond saving. <sighs> he could be in considerable danger. Let's proceed. I must apologize. I cannot believe that such a beautiful creature was merely a hallucination. Its deceptive and threatening nature is much uglier than its appearance would suggest. You mentioned the sting transformed into an object of beauty, something that she once spoke of, that you never personally encountered. <clears throat> yes, it was something she mentioned that I wanted to see in person. I see. This, together with the fact that March's hallucination claimed to know her past, suggests that these visions feed on people's subjective experiences and long-term sentiments, ah, in order to take the form of what they personally desire. So, in Argenti's eyes, Wubaboos are a thing of beauty. But my past isn't something I'm constantly thinking about. I have plenty of other dreams. That's not how it works. The desire to know your past embodies purity itself. A thing of immense value. I wonder if the dying words of those ugly menaces can be trusted. As the saying goes, even an insect speaks kind words when death is near. Are you implying that the insect imparted you with a message prior to its demise? Correct. Its final words were, Celebrate this superficial victory, for you will never be able to acknowledge the existence of the Overlord. Uh, let's ignore the fact that you understand insect speak for now. That sentence... Oh, wait, I think I understand. When reading through the chronicles of interdimensional insects in the databank, I came across a species that had only been described in records. Due to the lack of research samples, the author gave it a tentative name. Giant Sting. This species can reach tremendous proportions and is big enough to swallow an entire star knot. I believe the Overlord Argenti mentioned could be referring to this colossal being. And we're... I think I understand. We are in the belly of the beast. Yes. That's my theory. I see. That would explain what Velite and I experienced earlier. What do you mean? Did Velite mention that he was trapped in a dark and enormous cave when we first met? Now that I think on it, we did hear sounds akin to swallowing and other movements from the cave. Yes, and your flight path happened to intersect with the Express's star rail, meaning we might have encountered the very same giant sting. Now, 
We need to see if we can prove the theory correct. Ah, oh, what is that? Huh. It looks like our theory has already been confirmed. Let's talk to Mr. Ye. Oh, it's so quiet. Someone say something. After meeting all of you, I, Argenti, can die without regrets. Oh, never mind. I'm fine with silence. How's it going? Has there been any progress? Mm, let me explain the situation. I see. If the Express has been swallowed, then perhaps we could try pushing the Express's engine into a temporary state of overload and, and use the momentum to burst out of the giant sting's body. Uh, warp jumping requires a lot of preparation, and it might alert the swarm. It would be risky. The engine might overheat and burst into flames. Still, I don't have any better ideas. I am not fond of this idea. Uh, could it fail? In a word, uh, yes. The outer components of the Express may well be melting in gastric acid as we speak. It would seem our enormous, hideous enemy is right outside. Ah, uh, no! So my teddy bears and bunnies are gonna be liquefied by stomach acid? I've had them for ages! I need to find a way to save them! Let's stay calm. I need some time to check the engine with Himako. For now, just try and take your minds off the situation. It's all right. We're in this together. Have you noticed? Morale on the Express is low. <sighs> it's rare to see March genuinely worried. But given the circumstances, Maybe you could try reassuring some of the crew. The Express has faced all kinds of obstacles on its journey. Today is just another one. It's no reason to stop trailblazing. Such is the very essence of trailblazing. It is through these trials that we find wisdom and maturity. The Express is... melting? How is this even possible? I've been swallowed by a cave twice now. Is this my destiny? Uh, we need to get out of the Sting's stomach as soon as possible. Pom Pom doesn't want the Express to sustain damage. Everyone, just calm down. Calm yourselves, all of you. I'm bidding farewell to this flora. After having made friends with all the beings on the Express, and having discussed the beauty with each of you, I can now depart this mortal coil without regret. Ugh, can you and the Fern get a room already? How can anyone establish a bond with a houseplant? Although, I guess you could say the same about me and my teddy bears. The Express is home to all of us. No matter what happens, we're in this together. Woohoo! You're back! Although I guess that doesn't change our odds. Who knew our first meeting would be our last? <sighs> it's hopeless. I'll just spend the rest of my short life listening to your ramblings about the Express, I suppose. Nonsense! This won't be our last meeting. But I'm happy the Express has started to grow on you. Now, where should Pom Pom start the story? Are you really about to tell a story? 
Look, it's been nice meeting you and all, and I'd love to shoot the breeze. But are you people really just going to give up? Velute, I will escort you to your destination. A knight always keeps his word. <laughs> Don't assume you can reassure me that easily. I've got a heart of stone, you hear? Okay, that's enough. In times like this, we should be trying to give each other hope. No. The Express is strong. I'm sure we can think of something. I've completed the engine inspection. Though the warp device isn't immediately operational, I believe we can still manage brief spurts of acceleration. Unless there are any major objections, I'll begin preparations. Mr. Yang, one moment, please. I've suddenly happened upon an idea that might just help resolve our crisis. While the Express is being prepared, I would like to speak with her in private. <sighs> Seriously? Can't you just tell all of us? Were I to air such a proposition among you, verily, it would be dismissed in an instant. Yet, as a knight, it is my duty to aid the Express in resolving this issue. Oh, so you're a mind reader now, too? At this stage, any plan has a plan worth hearing. March, uh, hang fire. Let's see where this leads us. Thank you. <sighs> I apologize for being so abrupt. You must find me strange for wanting to speak with you alone. I will tell it to you straight. I have a strong sense that, as a knight of beauty, I have a duty to fight this battle. I propose that I disembark from the Express to confront the giant sting directly. My strategy is to pierce its stomach with my lance, triggering spasms that may cause it to eject the Express. It is challenging for me to articulate this phenomenon. Yet, when I observe certain entities, an indistinct sensation of beauty arises from my core, discernible only by instinct. Perhaps my long solitude traversing the cosmos has made it difficult to discern where these sentiments originate. But as a knight, I realize my obligation is to safeguard the seed that embodies beauty, standing as a bulwark to defend it against all. The Astral Express is that seed. It feels warm, like a home to me. I am certain this is thanks to the strong friendship you have with one another. That is why I must swear to fight to protect this warmth rather than be protected by it. I am willing, time and time again, to protect these seeds of beauty, to allow them to bloom into pure and radiant flowers, to demonstrate my devotion to them. It is an inherent part of the journey of Argenti. In the pursuit of defending beauty, I have bled into unconsciousness. And in the ensuing stupor, I have witnessed countless times their traces spreading from beneath my feet, reaching into the unknown before me. My rational mind tells me no. Yet my heart tells me to believe. In those past hallucinations, I kept running. Their footprints on the mire-ridden path moved me to a sadness beyond tears. And every time, I was a breath away from catching a glimpse of their figure. Yes, this is my duty. 
It is a never-ending cycle of falling and standing up again. Each time I wander closer to death, it gets me closer to the path the beauty once walked. This is my vow as a knight of beauty. I shall find a way to escape. It matters not if my flesh is pierced by the insect's horns. The closer I get to death, the closer I may get to the path of the beauty. I apologize. I have been rambling. As I said, articulation has never been my forte. Let us return to the point at hand. Do I have your support? You do. Thank you. Your understanding is more precious than any treasure. I have faced many a traveler, encountered flattery and provocation aplenty. It is rare to find a spirit as pure as yours. In that case, please forgive my inappropriate manner. Our friendship is new, but was forged in the heat of battle, which I only wish we had been able to conclude. I hope now we may conclude it still, that I may leave without regret. I shall prove my will with the blade, defend my honor, and uphold my dignity with the protocol of combat. Win or lose, I will accept the outcome, and thus bid you farewell. My friend, it is an honor to fight against you. Do not be afraid. Heaven's search. <laughs> not very dragon. Rise! Looks like somebody needs a doctor. Careful. <laughs> Welcome, customers. <laughs> you are fighting a gentleman. Put forth all your might. <laughs> Flesh wound. Ah! Better looking than me. A thousand wonders to raise your spirit and fight as one. The wind is rising. Bolt! From the blow! <laughs> Confess! Awaken, Dormant Skin. World Cleansing Dragon. <laughs> I sense a storm. Time was in your prescription! Thank you, comrade. Never dies. Time 
I'm watching your prescription! Better late than never. Careful! The wind is rising. Both! From the boat! Bear witness to you. Need a doctor? Hiya! Let's be friends. Yeah! Stay the course. A thousand wonders to raise your spirit. <laughs> Minus one. Sent a storm. You are fighting a jet. Put forth all your might. Let me tend your wounds. Fully. Confess. Welcome, customers. <laughs> Heaven search. Break the challenge. Awaken dormant scales. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Behold, this symbol of pure. Let the duel commence. Spirit never dies. Gale Force. Need a doctor? Hiya! The wind is rising. Bolt! From the blue! Let's go! With all your might! Watch yourselves! <laughs> Time to show us what's in your prescription! Thank you, comrade. You're good to the challenge! Never dies. To the clock. The wind is rising. Bull from the blue. Behold this symbol of pure beauty. Top one, take your prescription. Do not fret. Let the duel commence. Heaven search. Break. Stay the course. Let's done your with all your might. <laughs>
Your demeanor, strength, and the etiquette of your combat. I admit, you have won me over. Extraordinary and enjoyable in equal measure. Encountering an opponent of your caliber proves the existence of the beauty. <sighs> the end of our battle signifies my departure. The moment has finally arrived for me to bid farewell to the Express. Dear friend, I assure you, I am not a reckless person. I will ready myself for the opportunity to escape. I came to the Express to help you find a solution to this crisis. When my mission is complete, I shall venture back into the cosmos. But the cosmos is boundless. We may yet have another encounter. Excellent, dear friend. After completing my mission here, I shall find somewhere else that requires my protection. Worry not. As a knight, I bear the resolve and honor of assured victory. My body, tempered by countless battles, will not easily be broken. <sighs> Such a brief, fortuitous encounter. It has been an honor knowing each and every one of you on the Express. Let's go talk with the others. So, uh, how did you talk with Argenti go? I see. Based on our dealings with him so far, I can't say I'm overly surprised. Sounds like the kind of plan a younger me might have come up with. But that doesn't mean I approve of it. How do you see things? I suppose it all depends on how you see his understanding of and devotion to the beauty. If you're certain, I trust your judgment. <sighs> I took a nap just now and dreamt there was another V piloting Argenti's one and only. What's wrong with me? I never dream. After stealing Argenti's spaceship, I said to myself, go find Argenti. I'm not the type to start caring about people I've only just met. The dream made me feel a little uneasy. So what on earth is Argenti up to, anyway? Huh? B b b what? He wants to fight that huge bug on his own? So all that talk of departing the mortal coil and bidding farewell to a plant, that was all serious? You refused him, right? That's a suicide mission! And for what? D -d don't get me wrong, I don't really care. But if he dies, how am I going to turn my life around? All right, fine, I care about him. Ugh, why is he so difficult? Are his beliefs more important than his life? No way, I've got to talk some sense into him. After jumping from the Express, I shall pierce the wall of the giant Sting's stomach. It should then violently convulse, so the Express can escape the confines of its body. Velite, have you something to say? It's reckless to put yourself in danger! Do you really have to fulfill your knightly duty? Isn't there another way? I just don't get it! You too are worried for my safety. You may not have realized, but you have a unique and noble soul. I hope I can keep my promise to escort you to your destination. You... Oh, what the heck? Fine. I can be brave too, you know. If you insist on doing this, then I'm coming with you. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be alive right now. I may not be as strong as you, but... But... I'll do whatever I can. I appreciate that. But it would be best for you to remain on the Express. I... you... Mm, you're impossible. Fine. It suddenly struck me that if it weren't for this accident, we would never have met, let alone become friends. My life is a third-rate fiction next to your heroic saga. 
but at least they coincided. So you still want to do it? Are we going to say goodbye here? Then don't die. I'll be waiting for you. After we fix this mess, you've got some spokesperson duties at my company to attend to. Just make sure you come back in one piece. Do not worry. You will hear my shout. Idrilla the Beauty is the most peerless beauty of them all. Once the Express is safely out, I will devise my own exit plan and navigate my way to safety. Until next time. Having witnessed this spectacle, I am sure you will come to grasp the depth of my convictions. In the sanguine, eternal night of the universe, my existence professes a loyalty greater than the guileless. No, this is a hallucination caused by the giant sting. The commotion must have led to a great shedding of wing particles. Huh? Uh, then maybe the insect wasn't that big? Maybe it was all an illusion? I'm afraid not, March. I bet our Genti would think these fireworks were really... beautiful. We didn't know him very long, but he was a pretty nice guy. <sighs> I hope he made it. The Express managed to escape the crisis, but Pom Pom still feels a little sad. Pom Pom wonders what happened to our Genti. <sighs> Velite just left the Express too. He looked really upset. I guess he didn't know what Argenti was thinking either. The Knights of Beauty are made up of individuals who are used to traveling through the cosmos alone. They are difficult to understand, and the starry sky is their home. Perhaps this firework show is a symbol of his honor. But the fireworks... And the starry sky! He didn't see it. He has his own goals and struggles. After all, the Eon of Beauty has likely already fallen. Uh, you mean Adrilla? The one he wouldn't stop talking about? But he said he'd find them and fulfill his duty to protect them. The fact that Adrilla has fallen is tacitly acknowledged by some Knights of Beauty. Naturally, there are others who don't want to believe it. Like the one you met. He probably thinks that Adrilla is simply missing, hiding somewhere beyond the reach of mortals. The crisis is over and our unexpected guest has left. But I think there's still something we should talk about. In your opinion, what is beauty? They must be beautiful eyes. Beauty takes many forms, and different people have different answers. I wonder what exactly it is that the Knights of Beauty are pursuing through the cosmos. Let's assume that Argenti finds the missing Adrilla. Will he be able to recognize them with his human eyes? Or obsessed with his version of them, will he turn a blind eye and not even see them for who they are? It did seem like he had a kind of tunnel vision. And it sounded like he was holding himself to unreachable standards to attain his dreams. I didn't quite wrap my head around him. I guess if we're ever back in Bellabog and see a red-headed knight shouting into trash cans, Idrilla! Are you in there? Idrilla! I won't be surprised. But so what? I still think he was a nice guy. Even if he was a bit weird. <sighs> Where were we supposed to be going again? 